Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In this video I will show you how to create the following dashboard which is about World Cup results between 1930 and 2040. In this tutorial we are going to analyze data set that contains three different tables in which we are going to extract the different insights about World Cup. We start by the countries that won the World Cup, teams by total finals and semi-finals, countries that hosted the World Cup, competition stats by year, we will also create a map about the audience by country and year, the total countries qualified to the World Cup, and also a detailed table about the winners and top teams by World Cup year with the finals study. But before starting working with Tableau, let's first explore our dataset in Excel. As you can see, we have three different tables. So we have World Cup matches, World Cup Tableau format, and World Cups. So for World Cups, we have the year, so we have the different years, starting from 1930-2014. The country hosted the World Cup, the winner, runners-up, right? The third position, fourth position, goals scored within the World Cup, total teams qualified, total matches played, and the attendance. For World Cup Tableau format, we have same thing, the year, the game number, we have the date, the time, and the round. We have also the stadium, the city, and the country. We have the team, opponent, and the observation. Right, so observation after each game. And for World Cup matches, same thing. We have the year, the date, and the time. The round. We have the stadium, the city, the country. Then we have the home team, home goals, then away goals and away team, and also the observation after each game. So now let's import our data set into Tableau and create the relationships between the tables in order to create our data visualizations. So as you can see here, we have our data set with our three tables. First, we drag and drop World Cups in here. Then World Cup matches, right? And here we select the fields. So for World Cup, we select country. And World Cup matches, same thing, we select country. So like that, we created our first relationship between World Cups and World Cup matches. Same thing, we drag and drop World Cup Tableau format in here. And we select the fields. So World Cups, we select the country. And World Cup Tableau format, same thing, we select the country. So like that, we have created our relationships. Now let's start creating our visualizations. So you click on Sheet 1, and we are going to create the table for the countries that won the World Cup. So we double click, we write countries that won the World Cup, right? Okay. So we go to World Cups table, we drag and drop winner into the columns. Same thing, we drag and drop winner into the text. And we select count, so measure count. Same thing, we press control key and we drag and drop count winner into the detail. And we sort that. So we have Brazil with five and the last one is England with one. We click on standard, we select fit with. We click on winner and height field. We double click on the title, so we put it in the center bold. 11 and we put it in white apply ok we right click on the title format title and for the shading we select green for the border we select white same thing we right click on the table format and we are going to select the shading as black right for the font it will be bold white 8 and we are going to add our borders so we put everything in white Same thing for row divider and column divider. Same thing for the alignment, we put it in the center. Right. And like that, we get our table for countries that won the World Cup. Next, we are going to create a butterfly chart for teams by total finals and total semifinals. We'll just change the border in here. So we put it in white. So you click on your worksheet, 
double click teams by total finals and semifinals right okay so i'm going to create three different calculated fields so the first one we call it finals so you click on here round world cup tableau format create calculated field we name it finals and we say if round equals to final then give me round world cup tableau format then okay and we write and so we copy this one apply okay as you can see here it will appear in here next one so we click on around same thing create calculated field we name it semi finals and same thing if round equals to semi finals then give me round apply okay i will just modify the name so edit semi finals uh, apply okay and third one we call it zero axis so you write zero axis and you write zero apply okay so drag and drop team into the rows finals into the columns and we select major count same thing semifinals into the columns and we select measure count we drag and drop the round into the filters and we select only final and semifinals apply okay we'll right click on the first axis edit axis and we select reversed we drag and drop the zero axis between the count semifinals and count finals we right click on this axis and we remove the header we click on some zero axis we press control key and we drag and drop the team into the label so double click on the axis we remove zero axis tick marks into none we change it from automatic into text and we right click format so we are going to remove the zero line same thing for the columns we remove the grid line and the rows same thing here we are going to change the title so we write semi-finals and here we will have the finals right okay we can sort that and same thing for semifinals we press control key and we drag the count into the label same thing for the finals we press control key and we drag the count of finals into the label now we can format our worksheet so we start by the title format title so the border it will be white and the shading will be in green we double click we put it in the center white bold and 11 apply okay so for the colors we can change it into gold or orange right and right click format so the shading it will be in black the font will be bold white and eight and same thing for the borders we add everything in white So like that we get our butterfly chart for teams by total finals and semi-finals next we are going to create a horizontal bar chart for the countries that hosted the world cup so you click on new worksheet countries that hosted the world cup world cup right so go to world cups table and we drag and drop country into the rows we press control key and we drag and drop country into the columns and we select count 
we can order that right click on country hide field labels double click on the axis we remove the title we can also change the type of year into date and we drag and drop it into the label so you click on the label format and for the alignment it will be in the center right we can also change the color into gold and we can format our worksheet so right click format shading it will be in black right for the alignment it will be for the header in the center for the font it will be bold white and eight and same thing for the border so we add everything in white With we'll a double click on the title, put it in the center, white, bold, and 11. Apply, OK. Right click, format title, and for the border, it will be in white. For the shading, it will be in green. We can also edit the label. So you click in here and select format. For the font, we can put it in black, right? And same thing, we can add white borders to our bars. So like that, we get our horizontal bar chart for countries that hosted the World Cup. Same thing, we can create another horizontal bar chart for countries qualified to the World Cup. So duplicate this one, right click, duplicate, and name it countries qualified to the World Cup. Okay. So we remove everything, remove this one, and we remove this one. So go to World Cup Tableau Format, drag and drop team into rows. We drag and drop year into the columns, and we count distinct. So measure count distinct. We can sort that. We press Control key and we drag and drop count distinct into the label. Same thing. We right click Format. For the columns, for the grid lines, we remove it from so none. For the rows, same thing. Okay. So we remove the grid lines and the zero lines. And for the label, label alignment, it will be on the right. And with a big click on the axis, we remove the title. So like that, we get our horizontal bar chart for the number of times each country qualified to the World Cup. Next, we are going to create a stacked bar chart. So click on your worksheet and we name it competitions stats by year. So go to World Cups table, drag and drop year into the columns and measure names into filters. So select none. And we are going to select three. So we have matches played, qualified teams, and goals scored. Apply. OK. So we drag and drop the major values into the rows. We press Control key and we drag and drop major names into the color. We click on automatic and we select bar. We click on year and we select discrete. So like that, we have the different years with the different stats. We click on year of year and we hide the field. We click on measure names, edit colors. So goal scored, we put it in orange. Matches played in yellow. And qualified teams, we put it, for example, in this color. Apply, OK. Same thing, we double click on the axis. We remove the title. We click on standard fit with right and we are going to format our worksheet so right click format for the shading it will be black for grid lines we have none same thing for columns we remove also the zero lines and also for the rows for the font bold white and eight and same thing we are going to add the borders in white so put everything in white 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 and white 
we do the same thing for the title so double click put it in the center in white bold and 11 apply ok right click format title shading will be in green and the border in white so like that we get our stacked bar chart for competition stats by year next we are going to create detailed table for winners and top teams by world cup year with the finals stadium so you click on your worksheet so we write winners and top teams by world cup year and finals study okay so go to world cups table and we drag and drop winner into the rows same thing for the year and we convert it into discrete then we have the runners up the third position the fourth position and we drag and drop round into filters we select final apply ok and we drag and drop the stadium into the text so like that we have the winner we have also the year and we can also add the hosting country so drag and drop country into the rows same thing and we can change for example its name so we go to country we click on it rename and for example we name it hosting country right okay so we increase the width all right so now i'm going to format our table so right click format put everything in white and eight the shading it will be in black right and the borders we put everything in white white and here also in white for the alignment we put everything in the center right and also for the shading for row bending we select orange right same thing for the header and we put it like that we can do the same thing for the title so double click put it in the center in white bold and 11 apply ok right click format we add the border in white and the shading in green so like that we have our detailed table for winners and top teams by world cup year and final study next we are going to create a map for the audience by country and year so click on your worksheet write map audience by country and year okay so we go to world cups table with double click on hosting country we drag and drop the audience into the color we click on automatic and we select map here we have two unknown edit locations so for england i'm going to select united kingdom and for korea or japan we are going to select one of them so for example we can select here uh, we have japan right okay okay we click on color edit color and we change it for example into orange gold sign here for the lowest values we are going to select all of them put them in this color same thing for these values I don't want to put it in this color so apply ok same thing we drag and drop here into the tooltip right so like that we have the year the country and the attendance right same thing for the color we can increase opacity into 100 percent the border we put them in black and we click on map background maps put dark same thing for the title so we put it in the center white bold and 11 apply ok right click format title and the shading will be in green the border in white same thing we can also put the worksheet in black so shading 
worksheet in black like that we get our map for the audience by country and the can also remove the legend next we are going to create our title so new worksheet the first one we name it title one okay and we create new calculated field we name it title one and it will be world cup results apply okay so we hide title we drag and drop title one into text we increase its width we right click format and the worksheet we select bold white and 20 the shading it will be in black we increase its width and the alignment it will be in the center okay we duplicate this worksheet so we name it title 2 okay same thing we create another calculated field we name it title 2 right and we add our year so we have 930 to 2014 apply okay so we remove title 1 and we put title 2 so like that we have created all the worksheets now we are going to create our dashboard so you click on new dashboard and we select the size so here we put 1850 and here we put 1050 we click on dashboard format and we select black right now we drag and drop our sheets so here we have the countries we put it on the top so here we have the teams okay just like that then we have countries that hosted the world cup next we have the stacked bar chart right put it in here then we have the map next we have countries and the detail table okay now i'm going to import our world cup logo so you double click on image and all the links are available in the description okay so fit image center image we have here world cup logo okay and we put it in the center like that okay so this one same thing put it as thing put it inside the stacked bar chart we remove this okay that's great this one we put it entire view right we remove the title and we format our legends so format legends and the border we put it in white okay next we are going to add our titles right to select floating and we add the first title then the second title so high title high title and we put it like that okay like that second one same thing put it in here then we also double click on blank layout background in white and we add our lines okay copy paste put one in here second one like that 
all right now I'm going to add the flags for the countries okay so same thing select floating and also all the links are available in the description so start by the flag of Brazil okay so I put it inside like that next we have Italy same thing okay Next we have Germany. Okay. So we copy that, paste it. Because we have two. So we put one in here. Second one in here. Then we have Uruguay. So double click on image. Then Argentina. And Spain. France and finally we have England so double click All right, so like that we get our final dashboard for World Cup results between 1930 and 2040. So that's it for this dashboard. I hope that you have learned new things. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.